please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Certainly. Let's create a simple tutorial on how to implement a restart loop and add values in Python. In this tutorial, we'll create a program that allows users to input numbers, adds them up, and gives them the option to restart or exit the program. Let's break down the code. The add underscore values function initializes a total variable and enters a loop that continues until the user decides to exit by typing done. It uses a try except block to handle invalid inputs. The main function is the main part of the program. It welcomes the user, calls the add underscore values function, displays the result, and then asks the user if they want to restart or exit. The program uses a combination of while true loops to create the restart functionality. The outer loop in the main function allows the user to restart or exit the program. The if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore block ensures that the main function is called when the script is executed. You can run this script and test it out by entering numbers when prompted. If you type done, it will display the sum and ask if you want to restart or exit. Chat GPT Certainly. Let's start by discussing what a restart loop is and then go into adding values in Python. Title, Understanding Restart Loops and Adding Values in Python Introduction In Python programming, a restart loop refers to a sequence of code that continuously repeats, allowing a program to restart or repeat certain actions until a specified condition is met. This can be a useful concept in various scenarios, such as creating interactive applications or implementing repetitive tasks. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to create a simple restart loop and then delve into the process of adding values in Python. Part 1, Creating a Restart Loop In this example, the restart underscore loop function prompts the user to input whether they want to restart or not. If the input is yes, you can place the code that needs to be executed during each restart inside the corresponding block. The loop continues until the user inputs no, at which point the program exits the restart loop. Part 2, Adding Values in Python Now, Let's look at a simple example of adding values in Python. In this example, the add underscore values function prompts the user to input numbers to be added. The loop continues until the user enters done. The try and accept blocks handle cases where the user enters an invalid input, non-numeric values. Conclusion By combining the concepts of restart loops and value addition, you can create interactive programs that repeatedly perform specific tasks based on user input. Feel free to customize the provided examples to suit your specific use case and explore the possibilities of incorporating restart loops into your Python projects. ChatGPT